Roblox has done a lot for us developers. They pay for the servers and give us different tools to use, but there's one thing that they don't really bring up, and it's kind of oblivious to newer Roblox developers, uh, more specifically, scripters. And that is optimizing the amount of memory you are using in your game. Stuff like localizing things, you know, disconnecting events and everything like that. Uh, things can go hand in hand for modeling, scripting, everything like that. But if we press F9 on our keyboard, or you can also go to the chat and press, or uh, say, slash console and enter, this will bring up the same menu. This is known as the developer console. And here we can see how the memory is being used in our game. And also up here it says, uh, actually the amount of memory our game is using we want to lower this number because our game it'll be clear of memory and it'll just be just a lot smoother cleaner everything like that roblox says it really isn't an issue if you have a, a lot of memory but you need to have memory available because if you meet the limit that roblox servers have of 6.9 gigabytes of memory then your game will crash so we need to make sure that we are not using a lot of memory in our game. So optimizing everything we do in our Roblox games. Mind you, this is quite a bit of memory, but mind you, this is in Roblox Studio. So it, it's along with Roblox's tools and everything else that studio has and everything like that. So this would be lower in an actual game. I'm just showcasing this in studio. Now, there's a lot of things that could cause high memory. But I'm going to be looking at the scripting part of it and how to optimize your scripts, basically. So if we're going to talk about optimizing memory in our scripts, we have to know about memory leaks. And basically what a memory leak is, is when you write code, that consumes memory, right? But there is some parts of code that what is known as the Roblox garbage collector doesn't collect. So the job of the garbage collector is to clean up memory when it is no longer used, right? But when you have code that keeps get that keeps using memory and without it being cleaned up, then that is known as a memory leak. You keep gaining and gaining memory code that keeps uh, using memory, but it's not getting cleaned up. That is known as a memory leak and this clutters your game and we want to clean that. So we need to keep these things in mind to clean up our games. So one of the primary ways we can do this is by disconnecting our events. Okay, so we have, let's say an event. So game.workspace.baseplate.touched connect function. This is known as an anonymous function. There's no name for it or anything. It's just a regular, can, I can just think it off my screen. This is known as an anonymous function because there's no name attached to it and everything like that. So we have it connected here. And before what I'm about to get into there, you can put, instead of connect, you can put once. And basically what once does is it only runs the function once. It, it's in the name. <laughs> and when the function is done running, then it'll clean up by itself. That is an alternative, but this only runs once. Keep that in mind. It will never run again after it runs one time. So I'm just going to put this as connect. So we can name our connections so that we you know just name them so we can say like co connection will be equal to this or you can also attach it to a variable so i'm going to say local connection will be equal to let's just say nil well nil takes up a little bit of memory i'm just going to say like something like zero and then i'm going to say or actually i'm going to leave just local connection now down here i'm going to set the variable of the connection to this right here now we can run this code, prints, uh, working, right? And when we have this connected, when we're done with it, after we are like done, you know, working with it, we want to disconnect it. So we're going to say connection, disconnect, and connection will be equal to nil. This helps clean it up. So now we're going to go into our game. And I'm going to open up our output, and I'm going to touch the base plate. It says working, but I cannot do it again. Uh, this is making it so it disconnects after we run it once, and it does not run again, so it cleans it up. Again, as I said earlier, you can do the same thing by just saying once. Uh, right here, once, and if I just say working, do the same thing. 
but it, print, it prints working, but it does not do again. Basically the same thing. And keep in mind, this goes for every single connection, you know, tied to functions. It works for every single one. Now, it also does the same thing uh, if you just say something destroy, right? Because the, hold on, I probably, when you destroy something, it gets rid of the object and also disconnects everything tied to that object. So if I were to destroy the base plate, everything connected to the base plate, just literally everything, it does a deep clean, and this would no longer work because obviously the base plate's gone, and it doesn't use up the memory. That's another way you can just uh, destroy the object, and it destroys everything connected to those objects, like connections. If you have a local connection like I have here, then you can also say connection and call disconnect on it when it is outside of the code so you don't just have to run it outside of the code so I'm going to wait five seconds and if we go to our output play the game I can touch the base plate it keeps working but five seconds later it'll disconnect it and clear everything up just like you can see down here and it is no longer printing because we disconnected it and cleaned everything up Roblox also says that clearing up tables when they are no longer needed is another way of optimizing everything in your memory for scripting. So I'm going to take Roblox's example. I'm going to say local players is equal to a table. And I'm going to say game.players.playerAdded, connect function, and then we're going to get our player. And then I'm going to say uh, players, or I could probably see what that code example said. By saying table.insert players, we're going to insert the player to our players table. But this adds the players to the table, but when they leave, it is not clearing them. So this would cause massive, massive tables, which would eat up more of Roblox's memory. So we also need to, when they leave, or if a table is no longer in use, we need to clear that table so it doesn't keep growing in size and keep you know eating up the memory in our game and keep expanding in size and also if you are doing any iterating over these tables like in a for loop then that table will just again keep getting bigger and your loops will keep getting bigger and unnecessary values will be in there and also you can add stuff to the table by saying like players uh, square brackets and then you can say player and then equals to a new table uh, just like this we can then say well we can duplicate this and say player removing and then we can set this to nil so it is removed so when the player removes uh, we remove their place from the table now this final example I have heard I have for you guys I actually never really heard of her <laughs> before I looked on the dev forum and what Roblox has for us Roblox says to destroy character and player objects when they leave. I never really heard of this before, but I guess it would make sense and you guys will see why. So we're going to say game.players.playerAdded, connect it to a function, put in our player, and then we're going to say player.characterRemoving, connect function, and then we're going to get our character, and we're going to say character destroy. Going back to my previous example, calling destroy on the character will then make like disconnect everything and everything tied to the, our character same thing for our player game.players.player added or i mean player moving sorry player moving connect function and we have our player we are then going to actually we should probably say task that way here to make sure they're in the game and player destroy just like this and add a task dot wait so when character is being removed and the player is being removed we can actually destroy them and clean up those connections because they may still be in the game when they leave if you guys did learn something from this video or you guys enjoyed this video please hit the like button and the subscribe button i will see you guys in the next video peace